dividing algebraic terms, some extension, and we'd often just be dividing rather more complicated, so we've got an expression divided by a term here. But before we get started, we really do need to know why we can cancel common factors. So I've got 4x squared over 2x, and you do know that I should be cancelling out the x here. Let's just have a look at what happens when we expand out both of these expressions. I've got 4 times x times x on 2x. Now I always say to simplify the fraction and that involves cancelling out common factors too. So we look at the numbers and see could I rewrite that as a multiplication where this number was involved? Yep, I can. I can write this as 2 times 2. There, times x times x on the top and 2 times x on the bottom. Now, th we would never have set out our working like this. This is just showing why cancelling common factors is okay. Because now I'm going to separate this out. This is 2 over 2, this part of the fraction, times x over x. I'm going to get another pair there times, now everything that's left, what have I got left on the top here? 1, 2 and 1x, that's 2 times x and there's nothing left on the bottom so it's over 1. So all I've done is I've rearranged my fraction. Now 2 over 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 times anything doesn't change it. 1 times 10 is 10. So this times 1 can be got rid of without changing the meaning of the fraction. x divided by x is 1. So this can be got rid of without changing the meaning of the fraction. And so all I've got left is 2 times x, which is 2x. And if we did this the short way, 4 divided by 2 simplified leaves me with 2 on top. x squared over x, you cancel your x's, and I've got 2x. Obviously, we don't show all this working, but that shows you how it is that we're allowed to cancel out common factors. Because multiplying by 1 might as well not exist. We can get rid of that. We can't go cancelling when they're not factors, but they're added. Now, yes, I can see that there's a 2 here and I could turn this into 2 times 2 but I need factors and remember factor means it multiplies to give me this term so I need everything up here to be multiplied before I'm allowed to start cancelling because it's x is a factor of 4x squared 4 is a factor of 4x squared and in fact so is 2 because I can do 2 times 2 times x times x and get this whole expression or term. But I can't do 2 times anything to get 4 plus x squared. I can't write this as a multiplication where anything can be cancelled out. So this I cannot simplify. And if there's a plus or a minus in your fraction, be very careful about whether or not you're allowed to cancel because we only cancel common factors. Eventually we might learn to factorize and see if we could factorize and thus get a factor, but A, I set this up so we can't do that, and B, we won't learn that just yet. So this can't be simplified because x or 2 are not factors of that expression. So. Yes, we can see there's a minus there, which would make you very scared. 7x cubed y minus 5yx cubed over 12xy. But you can check if you can simplify, and these are like terms. Doesn't matter the out of order. So 7 minus 5 means I've got 2x cubed y over 12xy. Now, rather than using the calculator to cancel common factors, just look for common factors between 12, 2 and 12. Of course, 2 goes into both, leaving me with a 1 up here, 
and I don't need a 1 out the front of a number, and 6 down there. So I'll do my cancelling in a different colour for you. 2 and 12 cancel to 1 and 6. x cubed is x times x times x, and we can only get rid of one of those x's, so that becomes x squared, and the y's cancel out. And so sometimes we have to be really careful that we're not mix mixing anything up here. x squared is left on top, and 6 is the only thing left on the bottom. So even though it looks really complicated, you can often get this down to quite a simple version with just a little bit of simplifying, checking for like terms, and then cancelling. If you've got something like this and there's an expression on the top and bottom, always check to see if there's like terms that you can simplify before you go cancelling out.